it doesn't look like a bestseller at all, but those who want to buy a used Mariva can save a lot of money, its liquidity is low on the market. However, this does not mean at all that the minivan is considered problematic, rather the opposite. The charged version of the Mariva OPC, Opal Performance Center, appeared simultaneously with the restyling of the model in 2006. A 1.6-liter turbo engine with 180 horsepower was installed on the compact van, paired with a 6-speed manual gearbox. Restyling Engine After the modernization, a gasoline 4 with a volume of 1.4 liters, 90 horsepower, appeared, as well as diesel engines 1.3, 75 horsepower, and 1.7 liters, 125 horsepower. Transmission During the modernization of 2006, it remained the same. True, with 1.7 liter turbo diesels, 100 and 125 horsepower, a six speed mechanics is installed instead of a five band. Body The updated Mariva can be recognized by the changed front bumper with a separate area for fog lights, radiator grille, and new head optics. Compact minivans are very popular in European countries, where their consumer qualities are appreciated, with minimal dimensions they are distinguished by maximum capacity. But in Russia, these machines remained unclaimed for a long time. It was considered unprestigious for us to drive small cars, but recently the picture has begun to change. There are more cars on our roads every year, and fewer parking spaces, so city dwellers more often opt for compact vans. For example, on such as the Opel Mariva AI generation. The car is built on the Opel Corsa hatchback platform and was traditionally produced in a five-door body. At first, he relied on gasoline engines of 1.6, 105 horsepower, and 1.8 liters, 125 horsepower, as well as a 1.7 liter turbo diesel, 75 and 100 horsepower. On the Russian market Mariva is represented mainly with petrol engines of 1.4 liters, 90 horsepower, which appeared in 2007, and 1.6 liters, 105 horsepower. At the end of the career of the model, dealers began to take orders for diesel versions with power units of 1.3, 75 horsepower, and 1.7 liters, 75 and 100 horsepower. And before that, they were usually brought from Europe. The standard transmission is a 5-speed manual gearbox. As an alternative to an automatic with all engines, except for the younger one in the 1.4 liter range, an Easytronic robotic gearbox was available. If there were no complaints about the mechanics, then complaints about the robot were periodically received and are being received. A priori, it is not suitable for active driving, but for calm drivers who perceive the imposing manner of shifting gears by a robot as a given, Easytronic will even be to your liking. True, this transmission has technical features that cause additional operating costs. Therefore, when buying a used Opel Mariva with such a box, diagnostics are required in a specialized service that has the necessary equipment. For a subcompact minivan, the Mariva is very spacious inside. In addition, she boasts numerous options for transforming the interior. The rear seat is divided into three unequal parts, and the seats can be moved back and forth by 130 mm or change the angle of their backs. If there are two passengers, then it is better to add up the middle one, then the two remaining seats can be moved away from each other or brought closer, moved in the longitudinal direction, and the backrests can be folded back more steeply. Add to this mesh pockets and folding tables on the back of the front seat backs, adjustable armrests and individual lighting and you get a real minivan, only, small. In terms of equipment, the Mariva was equipped with ABS, frontal airbags and an audio system as standard. But as a rule, a used minivan is richer equipped. The first owner usually ordered air conditioning, power windows and heated side mirrors. If you describe the Opel Mariva in one phrase, you get something like this generally reliable, but not without its specific faults. Engines that are well known from other Opel models do not cause problems, however, approximately 1 in 3 Mariva owners with 1.6 and 1.8 liter engines may experience phase regulator failure. If the engine starts to work like a diesel engine, with a characteristic roar, you will have to prepare 15,000 rubles. For the repair, these are official rates. In a specialized service, they will take 25 to 40 percent less. At risk is the timing belt. It is designed for 90,000 kilometers, but it can break even earlier. From bad gasoline on all engines, electronic sensors, spark plugs and ignition coils fail, 1680 rubles each.
many complaints about the Easytronic robotic transmission. It breaks down not so often, but at each MOT it requires reconfiguration servicemen call this retraining of the clutch setting point. Work, 3000 rubles, is accompanied by a mandatory replacement of the brake fluid, which loses its properties over 15,000 kilometers. You should also make it a rule when standing in a traffic jam for a long time or at a traffic light with the auto mode on, switch to N, neutral, in advance, while keeping the car depressed on the brake pedal. Otherwise, sooner or later the box control unit will fail, which costs an average of 27,000 rubles. In a suspension with McPherson struts and a rear semi-independent beam, in addition to the planned routine expenses for replacing consumables, one can only complain about one problem. The ABS sensors on the Mariva are damaged by road chemicals. At first glance, a trifling malfunction seems not so costly, but this part is included in the common block with the wheel hub and changes entirely at official stations. Replacement will require about 20,000 rubles. You can, however, save money in turn to an unauthorized service. They update the sensors without replacing the hub, respectively, an order of magnitude cheaper. Every 50,000 kilometers, they change the stabilizer struts, 1,000 rubles each, and thrust bearings, 1,200 rubles each, twice as rarely, ball bearings, 1,500 rubles each. Body. Strong and resistant, and paint and varnish pleases with durability. After three to four years of operation, wheel arches and sills sometimes peel off, but the rust on the chips does not show through for a very long time. Engine. 1.6L, the most massive at Mariva. After 100000 km, its supports get tired, 2,800 rubles each. There is a high probability of a radiator leak, 11,500 rubles, a pump, 3,500 rubles, and a thermostat, 2,300 rubles. Occasionally there are problems with the starter and generator, 5,200 rubles. Transmission. In the used Mariva transmission, the focus should be on the Easytronic 5-speed robotic gearbox, which requires professional and timely maintenance. Reconfiguration is usually carried out at each MOT, it costs about 3,000 rubles. Suspension. In the front suspension, struts and stabilizer bushings wear out by 50,000 kilometers, 2,900 rubles. Support bearings and strut bearings last longer, 1,200 rubles each. Ball joints serve about 75,000 kilometers. In steering, rods with tips, 4,200 rubles, are durable. They are updated after 60,000 kilometers of run. A rail that has tapped to 100,000 kilometers, from 23,000 rubles, can be repaired for 8,500 to 11,000 rubles. In the rear suspension with a semi-independent H-beam, only 100,000 kilometers of run will require the replacement of the stabilizer strut, 1,700 rubles, and the silent blocks of the trailing arms. Repair will pull about 4,500 rubles. Shock absorbers, 3,400 rubles each, as a rule, can withstand up to 120,000 kilometers. In the brake system, after three replacements of pad sets, 2,300 rubles, it is necessary to update the discs, 3,200 rubles each.